So my name is Pam O'Brien and I'm doing a series of short videos outlining some of the game's design and development concepts using Make Code Arcade. So I've already created three short videos which go through aspects of game design development. So in the first one, I looked at the sprites, selecting our sprites and putting them on a background and getting basic movement, like moving with the arrows and just moving in straight lines. I then moved on to look at collision detection and what happens when two sprites collide and what we can do in that situation. And we also looked at creating projectiles um, going from one sprite to another. And then we looked at lives and score. So that's the first three. And in this short video, which is the fourth in the series, I'm going to look at the position of sprites on a screen and also within Make Code Arcade, obviously. So these are all related to Make Code Arcade. And I'm also going to look at velocity and how we can use that to move characters around the screen. So if we look at our blue rectangle here to represent the screen, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the position within um, that screen and how we can place characters there. So when we're looking at the screen, we have an X and a Y value. And then when we have our X and our Y value, our X value goes horizontally, so it goes across. And the values we can have are from 0 on the left-hand side to 160 on the right-hand side. And then our Y value goes down, and that goes from 0 on the top to 120 on the bottom. So those are our parameters. So if we look at the point here, that is going to be 0, 0. So x, 0, and y, 0. If we look at the point down here, it will be 160, 20, because our x value is 160 and our y value is 20. And then in the middle of the screen, which is where everything is placed to start off with, we're looking at the point 80, 60. So if you want to place your character on a particular part of the screen, you will need to work out what the x and the y value is. So let's have a look in Make Code Arcade and see how we can do that. Just a reminder, if you want to find Make Code Arcade, you can just uh, do a Google search for Make Code. Now, the first one that comes up is Make Code for Microbit. We can have a look at that in, in other videos, but for now, we're going to be looking at Arcade. So I'm just going to go to Microsoft Make Code here. And then if I just move down when it does come up, it's this block here. And that brings us into the Make Code environment. So I can just create a... It's just taking a little bit of time. I can just create a new project and I'll call it uh, Sprite Movement. I've just mis mistyped that, but it's fine. You have to give it a name. So if I go to Sprites here and just create my Sprite, and I'm going to select my Sprite from the gallery and I'm just going to select a strawberry. Click done. So I'm setting my sprite to sprite of kind player. And then if I go to scene, I can set the background. Sorry, it's the background color I want to get here. And I'm just going to set the background color to white. So that will just give me a strawberry on a white black background. And then if I go to sprites again, I can set my position. So again, if I set my position and instead of my sprite here, actually, I'm just going to rename it up in this one. And I'm going to call it strawberry. Click OK. So it's setting the strawberry position to zero, zero. And you'll see that zero, zero is up here in the right hand side. Now, if, or in the left, sorry, the top left corner. If I click on the zero here, you see the way I can move it. So I'm just moving around. And if I select this one now, it'll bring in the values here. So it will restart again, and it will place it almost in the middle, but not quite in the middle. If I click again and go down to the right-hand corner here, again, it's going to bring in my values here, and it will place it right down in the right-hand corner. If I, again, select it and just move back up here, so this time it's x one four, almost 140, so it's almost over to the right-hand side, but the y value is quite low, so it's going to be up in the top right. So again, you can have a play with that. You can type in the numbers you want here. 
So if I wanted it to be right in the middle, I can put in my 80 and 60, and that is the default. So I can put that in, and that will go right in the middle of the screen. So that is just our position. Next, I'm going to have a look at velocity. So I'm just going to go back to our design document to just talk a little bit about the values we can have for velocity, and then we'll take it from there. So when we're talking about velocity, we have an X and a Y value for velocity. So our X value and our Y value go from minus 100 to plus 100. And that impacts on the direction in which what we want to move is traveling. So let's just look at straight lines to start off with. So if we want something to, tra to travel in a straight line from left to right, we would set x velocity as 100 and y as 0. If we want to go from right to left, then our x would be minus 100 and our y would be 0. If we want to move a character up in a straight line, so this is up in a straight line, our x would be equal to 0 and our y would be minus 100. And if we want to move it down, our x would be 0 and y would be plus 100. So that's just the basics. So let's have a look at those in Arcade and then we'll have a look at moving around a little bit more. So here we have our strawberry again and if we just look at our velocity here so I'm just going to pull across the velocity and it's just going to restart there and again I just need to instead of my sprite I'm going to change it to strawberry so it will do that and you see that with a velocity of 50 50 it goes down to the right in a straight line but let's just look at those examples we had. So if I look at 100 and 0 here, so just restart it again. So you'll see it just goes in a, a straight line from left to right. If I go minus 100 to 0, it will go in the opposite direction. If I go 0 for my x and 100 for my y, then you'll see that it will restart and it just drops down. And if I go minus 100 for the y, it will move up in a straight line. So that's just basic velocity. Now again, as we said, if we did 50-50, it goes down to the right. So from the middle down to the right-hand corner. Let's just have a look at if we have minus 50, we would expect that it will go up to the left-hand corner. Or sorry, it's going, so it's going, so our, our y is still going down here and then our x so it's going from the middle to the left hand side but it's dropping down let's just change the y now to be minus 50 and see where it's going so it's going up into the top left hand corner and if we make our x 50 then and our y minus 50 then it's going to go up into the top right hand corner so again you can change these so you can see here you've got a little dial and you can change them to whatever values you want. Pick a value, pick another value here and let's just see what way this one is going to go. So again, it's not going right down into the corner, it's just kind of going off to the side there. Again, it's going in straight lines. But if you wanted to go to math here, you could pick a random number. So you could just pick X and Y randomly. So I could go from minus 100 here to plus 100. And if I duplicate that and put it in for Y, then I could do the same for Y. So every time it starts, it's going to go in a slightly different direction. So if I restart it and restart it, restart it again, and it's just picking random values. And it's just going in different directions each time. So that's just some of the basics of velocity for you. Again, with the sprites, there's other things you can do. You can set the x value to a particular. Um, so you can set, if you want to change where it is, you can, again, change the variable name. And then you could set the x value to anything between 1 and 160. So it's going to come in at a different place. You could also, 
if we just take that one out. So you can set the X value, you can change the X value, you can also change, if we go back here, you can change the Y value, you can change the velocity, you can change the acceleration. So these are things you can have a look at yourself. I'm just showing you some of the basics. But again, we could do a pick random here. So if we go here, and I could pick random 0 to 160, and then I can just duplicate this again and put that into the Y and pick 0 to 120 here. So that is going to pick a random position every time we restart. So if I restart again, so it's just randomly coming in at different places and going in different directions every time. Now again, this is something you need to have a play with yourself and uh, see how you get on with it. So best of luck with that. Let me know how you get on with it.